Hey guys, right, this is quite a different one. Um, got a new car, just changing uh, the head unit. It's a Porsche Cayman 987 Gen 2. It's the non Bose. So, everywhere I read and say that's the easy option, as there's no optical speakers. Um, I've ordered a kit from Dynamic Audio. I can leave a link in the video. And it is pretty much plug and play. There's one, I'll, I'll show you what I've got. Okay, so the head unit's out. There's loads of videos on YouTube which show you how to do that. Uh, so I won't bore you with that. But so all I'm left with is this one quad lock that came out the back of a, a CDR30. That's the head unit I had in here. And uh, just this area, it's a, is it a FACRA, I think they call it. This cable comes with the pack, uh, the install kit. So that's that one there. And then the, the quad lock cable is basically this. Uh, and it comes it's got these parts these this is connect from here onwards from this way that way that's from the head new head unit um because i'll just test fit it to make sure it all works but that that goes into the new head unit that comes with the new head unit not with the installation kit but you get all this um it comes with this uh steering control module as well but mine doesn't have the steering wheel controls so <clears throat> I don't think I need that at all but I don't think it also well, it comes with a fascia fascia kits as well I'm not sure where that bottom tray goes it's probably just something else I don't need once I've got it installed I'll show it thanks very much for watching okay guys so this was the original head unit it's a CDR 30 in the Porsche um, kit I got from Dynamic Sounds which was a fitting kit for £150 but um, I didn't use all of it so if you can get these parts separately it'd be a lot cheaper so this is the cable you used um, and that's the fitting kit uh, I couldn't find this cable but somebody might be able to on its own but I just went with the instructions from the website to sell it as a kit I know you can get the fascia plate for about £50 these side pieces basically connect to over the side of that and you screw these to the side of the head unit so i never had to use the cage for the head unit that all held it in place um that, this comes as well never used it i think it's, if you're going to use a single din you'd use that but my i've replaced it with a double din uh apple carplay unit this also comes as part of the kit never used it perhaps if you've got steering wheel controls you probably need that but there's also a box on this cable. Um, it's part of the steering wheel thing. So I suppose you plug that piece into that little black box there, uh, which is the steering wheel controls. So like I say, all I used was the antenna adapter, if you want FM. I also installed a DAB antenna, so I've got that. Um, that's the code for the double dim fascia. And that's the code well, for the uh, quad lock wiring loom, which connects really easily. And that's all I needed. The unit I used, well, I replaced it with, is this one here. Um, mainly because it had a volume knob. Because um, I ain't got steering wheel controls, it's just easier rather than using a touch screen to try and turn volume up and down quickly so yeah I'll, I'll show you in the car right so this is the head unit in place this is part of the fascia pack that it comes with them side panels connect to this so even the fascia plate that came with this stereo i never had to use all the cage that it came came in either um car play you do need USB cable to be connected so it's not completely wireless. Uh, dab aerial is up there. That's probably the trickiest bit getting that A pillar cover because it goes right back to the rear. Uh, that was a bit awkward. Ran the cable down the side behind the glove box into the back of the unit. And the only other thing I don't really like was the microphone. I couldn't figure out a way of using the car's standard microphones which are there. But um, yeah, but that works. And once again, down the A pillar underneath 
into the back of the head unit. Right. Let's just show you. So that's the DAP radio. Uh, that's the main screen. And when you when you plug your Apple CarPlay in, you'll get an Apple CarPlay icon in here as well. Let's turn that down. Yeah, but works really well. Good touch screen, really sensitive. So it's just more noise. The car, in my opinion. I hope that helps people because I couldn't find any info on the cables or actually fitting but it is really a simple job if you've got the non-dose unit um, I was quoted 180 pounds to fit it and it took me an hour and a half and I think 35 minutes of that was installing that because of the A pillars and getting them all back in place yeah easily to it's plug and play you don't have to do any other soldering or run any other wires. Thanks for watching. Cheers.